An arpeggio is a broken chord, a chord that's played in separate notes. Uh, let's take a look at an A chord. You all know this chord? The notes in this chord are A, E, A, C sharp, and E. Those are exactly the, chord, the notes that are, that are in this chord. And you can see that I've, uh, in that chord I've got an A, and I've got a duplicated A at the octave, and I've got an E, and a duplicated E at the octave, and a C sharp on the second string. Now, if I take that A, and the E and the C sharp, put them in order, the order that I would find them in an A major scale. I'm going to give you the A major scale notes. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, return. So if I take those A, the notes of the A major chord, and, and I play them in the order that they happen in the, in the major scale. I have A, C sharp, and E. That's a, that's a, a, a three note arpeggio. And that's exactly what we want to do today in the key of A. We want to play a 12 bar blues using, uh, using a line that is, uh, is uh, based I in, the, uh, in the arpeggio uh, of, of the chord, of each of the chords of A, D, and E. It's gonna be super simple. Uh, so here's our arpeggio for A. But we're going to go as far as the sixth and come back. Now it's going to look exactly the same when we're starting it from D, because the tuning between those two strings is the same. Back to the A. And the same applies to the E. Tuning is exactly the same. of A, D and E, or A7, D7, and E7. So all I'm doing is playing an arpeggio, one, three, five, for the first degree, the third degree, and the fifth degree of the scale, of, of, the, of the scale that belongs to the chord, and, uh, and then adding the sixth above it, like one, two, three, four, five, six, right? The sixth falls back down to the five in my line. All right, real, real, uh, real straightforward and uh, uh, and simple. Now, uh, when we uh, when we do that through a complete twelve-bar blues, uh, you'll notice that uh, each one of those lines takes up only one measure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and so on. So that means that you're going to play that identical line 12 times through a 12 bar blues. And in each case, it works beautifully in the key of A because in each case you've got, uh, you've got an open uh, uh, string to start with, right? A, D, and E. And the line, the figure, is going to fall exactly the same uh, under under your fingers, it's going to be identical from A to D to E, the, uh, identical shapes. Now, if you want to take this just one step further, you feel like like why not? Uh, I can do it. You can add the seven as well, the flat seven in this case. Listen to what happens to the line. <laughs> six to five, but now we're going to do Now 
that's a little bit trickier. Now, all of a sudden, we've expanded that line to being one measure long to the phrase being two measures long. Listen up again. I'll name the degrees of the scale. One, three, five, six, five, flat seven, six, five, three, five. I'll do it one more time slowly. It's going to look the same on each string. I only played half that figure uh, when I got to the E, and the reason for that is I only have one measure at that point. I don't have two measures in the 12 measure uh, uh, blues form. Uh, the, the E is only going to happen one time, and so I have to go back to halving that, uh, uh, that line to, to the original one that, that, I, that I showed you at the top, going only to the sixth. And the same thing, you know, anywhere else, uh, it, you know, if we go to the D and there's only one measure of D, you have to play half that line. So in, in sections where you've got four, like four whole measures, for instance, at the top, you can play the whole line twice. And again. And same thing goes for the D. Now you've got two measures. And then two measures of E. But now, going to the E one time. D once. A once. E once. And then you're back to the full line again. Now this becomes a little bit trickier, and, uh, but, but, uh, but really fun to play. Uh, and also, um, uh, uh, keep thinking about the chords, right? E, uh, A, D, E, and A. Uh, and think of the degrees of your, uh, of your scale, right? So you've got the one, three, five, six, flat seven. You can just call it a seven, too, if you like. But just to, 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 we call it a flat seven because it's different than the major seven. More on that later. Six, seven, six, five, three, and uh, the, the root. Chords one, four, five.